The world is full of good news. The following are just a few. Salvadorian Vice President Sanchez Seren hosts visiting counterparts from Guatemala, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, and the Dominican Republic, with the leaders committing to increased investments in education for the benefit of fellow citizens and their countries. Palestinian Hamas leader Abu Atala Al Sabeh agrees to meet with senior Fatah official Dr. Nabil Saath after Dr. Saath affirmed his willingness to discuss national reconciliation with Hamas leadership in the Gaza Strip. As part of an ongoing culture and academic exchange, the Japanese embassy in Doha, Qatar, presents Qatar University with a gift of 122 books, including English and Japanese novels, children's books, and others describing Japanese history, architecture, and origami art. Mauritania's president Mohamed Old Adel Assis announces a 3.5 million US dollar fund to develop four ancient desert towns partially buried by sands as part of an effort to restore the cultural treasures classified as UNESCO World Heritage Sites. In Formosa or Taiwan, local animal protection group, the Environment and Animal Society of Taiwan, calls on consumers to boycott rabbit fur products in an effort to stop the cruel industry that sacrifices millions of innocent animals' lives each year. With some 3.5 billion euros contributed thus far to charities such as Amnesty International and World Wildlife Fund, the National Postcode Lottery of the Netherlands donates 1.35 million euros to the UN High Commissioner for Refugees for use in assisting asylum seekers worldwide. Wide. Former president of fast food chain McDonald's restaurants, Mike Roberts, announces plans to launch a franchise with vegan options in California, USA, called Life, Love Your Food Every Day Kitchen, with the help of renowned U.S. vegan chef Tal Ronan. Japan contributes 15 million U.S. dollars to the charity Voluntary Trust Fund for assistance in mine action to help clear landmines in Afghanistan and African countries, thus increasing safety and freedom of movement for people. The African Union and the organization Global Advocacy for One Laptop Per Child sign an agreement that will provide laptops for primary students in Ethiopia. The government of Singapore announces plans to add an additional 392 million U.S. dollars to the ComCare Fund that supports less fortunate citizens.